Hi readers, November is Native American Heritage Month and here at the Madison Reading Project we'd like to shine a light on books that are written by Native American authors and that feature Native American storylines and characters and our hope is that you grow to love these books so much that they find a permanent place on your bookshelf all year long. So instead of reading to you today, I'm going to be sharing some of the wonderful books that we're featuring this month. So to get started, I have two books that are written by Richard Van Camp and illustrated by Julie Flett, and they're for our youngest readers. So these board books, one is called Little You and the other is We Sang You Home. And Little You celebrates the potential of every child and the theme in We Sang You Home is the magical bond that exists between babies and their caregivers. The next book I wanted to share is called My Heart Fills With Happiness. And this book is by Monique Grace Smith and the illustrator is again Julie Flett. And this book wants us to stop and notice all the little joys throughout the day. Our next book is called We Are Water Protectors. And the author of this story was inspired by the indigenous-led movements that are, have been taking place in the United States and Canada. And it highlights the importance of safeguarding the Earth's water. The next book is called We Are Grateful. And while this is a great book to emphasize the importance of, being, of showing gratitude, it also gives a wonderful look into the Cherokee traditions and customs that are part of that community. The next book I have for you is called Giving Thanks. And I especially love this one because it demonstrates the true interconnectedness between earth and people and the countless gifts that the earth gives us every day. And again, calls for us to be grateful. The next book I have for you is called Go Show the World, a celebration of indigenous heroes. And this book celebrates indigenous, diverse indigenous people from the past and in the present. And it may just inspire you to look into more of the wonderful things that indigenous people have contributed to over time. And the last book that I have for you is called Bow Wow Pow Wow. And in this book, the main character has a very vivid imagination and she is celebrating the singing and the dancing that takes place at powwows and the magical feeling that she gets being a part of that tradition. All of these books are really excellent for any age of reader and they provide really wonderful glimpses into cultures and traditions that otherwise kids may not get to know about. Um, but they also are really positive representations for kids who identify as indigenous or as Native Americans. And so what I hope is that you go out and find these books to add to your library or to send them our way to the Madison Reading Project so that we can get these books out into the community and celebrate the beauty of Native American heritage. Have a great rest of your day.